Hey guys, it's Nina here, and welcome back again to Pottermore. Um, I've always been, as I said before, like a huge Harry Potter fan, but I had no idea that there was like a way for you to choose your wand. Like I knew there was a host and the Patronus, but I had no idea there was an option to choose your wand. So I'm gonna pick this one. I have no idea what it's gonna be like. So let's go ahead and head into it. Uh, to ensure you find the perfect one for you, it's very important that you answer the following questions. Honestly, first of all, well, would you describe yourself as average height, short, tall? I am average height. I am 5'5". Five five. And your eyes are dark brown. I am a, the average black chick. Uh, was the day on which you were born, it was a even number. I was born on the 30th of May. Do you most pride yourself in your kindness? Optimism, oof, determination, oof, those are not things that I have. Resilience, not resilient. Imagination, very imaginative, don't say I pride myself on it. Intelligence, originality, I am smart. Traveling alone, well, I'm not good at puzzles, but I'm smart. <laughs> Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue? Left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest, right towards the castle. I road towards the sea. I feel like people can't really sneak up on me when there's like, when I can see around me, um, I could just just can be like sand and water as far as I can see as I would believe. So I believe I would be fine unless it's like, yeah, it's a sea, so like there's no crocodiles or anything. So yeah, I'd be good. I uh, do you most fear fire? I am paraphobic. Darkness, mm, isolation. Ooh, that's like a personal thing. Small spaces? Is that what I said? Small spaces or heights? I'm a scaredy cat, so I'm afraid of heights. I am slightly claustrophobic, so small spaces does scare me as well. Isolation? No, I'm not afraid of isolation. Uh, darkness? In certain cases, yes. Fire? I think I'm most afraid of fire than anything else. It's more practical. Isolation is not very practical. It's more like an emotional like type of thing, or like a mental type of thing. Um, heights? I could. Oof, oof. <laughs> I, f I haven't been in many situations where I was in a high place, but the times that I am, where I was, I definitely freaked out more than I would when I'm in front of fire. So I feel like I should pick heights, because it does give me a more like visceral reaction, I think. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Ornate mirror, dusty bottle, golden key, silver dagger, bound scroll, Glittering jewel black glove. Now I could either pick the scroll and try to see like what is in there or I would pick the dagger. If I know for a fact that there's nothing in the scroll or that like it's not something that is special, I definitely pick the dagger. But if it's like something that needs to be decoded or it's like the secrets of some forbidden past or whatever, I would pick the scroll. But because I'm not a hundred percent sure if the scroll actually has any value, I definitely pick the dagger. It's more practical. Ash wood with dragon heartstring core, twelve and a half inch and unyielding flexibility. Your one is chosen for you. Now, I'd usually be excited, like when I was for Slytherin or for the dog for my Patronus, but I don't know what this means. Is there somebody who like has this type of one that I should be excited about? Because I don't know. Personally, I think that's a pretty powerful wand. You think so? Yeah, because um, dragon heart string. string. Yeah, mm. that sounds powerful. Mm. I wish I knew. I'm not. Un a, I'm not. Unyielding mm. flexible means that this is a tough, a strong wand. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, you you can look up online and see. You know. Uh, different nah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be more fun. It's alright. Hmm. Ash will dragon heart string. I'm looking at the actual wand. I'm trying to think if somebody else had this one. Did Harry have this one? I don't think so. No. No. Who had this one? I think I think his wand um had like um a phoenix um mm. phoenix feather core. Well, I'm sure some Harry Potter buffs out there would be very excited for this one, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm looking at right now. Um yeah, this was really short. I didn't expect these quizzes to be so short, but hey! Um, oh, crap. Duh. There's a section that says about my one. Um, Ashwood. Ash. Dragon. Length. Unyielding flexibility. Okay. 
I'm gonna do a quick quick run through here. Mm, true master and ought not to be passed on. The bash or overconfident witcher wizard who often insists on trying ones of his prestigious wood will be disappointed by its effects. The ideal owner may be stubborn and will certainly be courageous but never crass or ignorant or arrogant. Hmm. Produce ones with the most power and which are capable of the most flamboyant spells. Okay. Tend to be learned more quickly than other types. Okay. While well, they can challenge. Uh huh. Okay, looks good. It is also most prone to three cores to accidents, being somewhat temperamental. Okay. Uh, I don't think the length really matters. Yeah. Uh, one flexibility and rigi rigidity denotes the degree of adapt adaptability <laughs> and willingness to change, uh, possess. Da -da 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 -da. Although, again, this factor ought not to be... Da -da -da. Okay. Alright, I got a decent one. Decent four. I'm not going to read that while you guys are still here. Like, <laughs> Oh, wow. God, there's so much stuff on just something that doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, well, that should be everything, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again. I feel like I've discovered everything. Um, everything is in the description, my social media and all that. So you can go check that out. Subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.